I've said that it's um, the mayor was looking for a lost foal and could be appeased by a child with sweets. There's a story around that as well. Uh, but we think it's just because in the darkest days of winter, it gets pretty, well, lots of people get quite depressed. <laughs> okay. Come down here. I need a dairy for Colloid, Mary. And after after Christmas, they much um, they're really pleased to see us because I think they're probably thinking, oh, you know, when are these long days going to end? And we bring the promise of light, really, that we know is coming, and that makes things nicer for people thinking, oh, actually, yeah, the days are going to start to get a bit longer soon, and we are going to go into spring. The entourage would dress with skins, I think, partly to be a bit more intimidating and it's there are old stories that if someone saw the Mary Lloyd party come in that they would lock their doors and put the lights off or turn the candles out and hide because for one but you didn't want all those people in your house but you may not have um, enough food or uh, you wouldn't have drink in the house to give them and they'd be a rowdy bench so probably best to hide and you can leave them go somewhere else. Yeah. <laughs> At the start of the uh, proceedings, yeah. we I knock the door, and there's usually a party inside prepared to do the punko. The punko is a verse, it's almost like a. It's not actually a song. It's like a shouting sort of song, and there's um, it sort of rhymes. But each one is made specifically for the venue that we go into. So we'll find out something about them, put it into the rhyme, and then we will say who we are and what we want. It's in Welsh. And then the response will come from inside and they'll say why we can't come in. Usually because we were too dirty, too naughty, made a mess last time. And then we'll say, well, something like, well, we promise to be good or or we go somewhere else because you're rubbish and then they'll say oh you know shall we let them in sort of thing and it's usually only three verses but it could go on for weeks in old tradition but um we only manage a few verses and then they let us in then we create a bit of chaos by running around mary runs around sometimes if we're in a pub mary will go behind the bar or whatever she can get and sort of if there's children and women, they usually scream in, which is kind of good. And we just, um, the musicians play the traditional Welsh songs, we dance, and then eventually they're supposed to give us Tishan, Kuru and Arian, which is cake, beer and silver. And that's for them to have good luck for the new year. <laughs> Part of us moving here was the Welsh language trying to continue with that and we brought the tradition. Glamorgan I, I think was probably the, what I would think of as the strongest um, place where tradition was being kept up but when we moved on here people did know about us but never seen it. So many people, old people had never seen it so now some of them have and um, it's quite exciting actually when you're somewhere and, and somebody in their 80s will say oh, you know, that's amazing, I have I've knew about this and, and nobody, I've never seen it, but it's always told. So, we've met some amazing people out there.